Good morning, everyone. We are in our hotel room, uh, still right near that lake that we ended the last video on, um, with that glow-in-the-dark temple thing. Um, this is called the Goodview Valley Resort. It's kind of a neat little thing. How do you open this door? This is our little cabin. This was a uh, twelve hundred a night, which is what thirty five, thirty six bucks. I haven't gone out there, and I'm not going to. Yeah, it's just a couple of cabins here. Highways right on the other side of that building. They have a restaurant up there, but during the week, most of these places are not busy because the people are not here from in the city. Um, so I don't. I think we might have been the only ones here tonight, but. It's like a village right here, not nothing special, but uh, just want to show you our breakfast real quick. They just brought it to our room. What's this called? I can't remember. Kaitakat. 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 Um, really good. Some fresh fruit, some meat, some croissants, coffee, whatever. So breakfast was pretty good. Us. Nice of them to bring it down to our room. Um, we're packed up in the truck. We're getting ready to take off. She's going to take key up, but real quick. Um, they also have some rooms here for 400 a night. No idea. No, nothing about them. Uh, may not even have air conditioning. I don't know, but like our room was down here. As you can see, we're on the side of a hill and that pond is right down there, but this is pretty nice over here. I think the normal rate was fifteen hundred a night, but there's nobody here. It's the middle of the week, and like I said, they have weekend crowds that come in out of Ubon to be at the lake at Patianoi. Um, so during the week they don't have much business. So she, when Sampit called her, Sampit kind of hesitated, and she said, "Oh, twelve hundred. I'll give you twelve hundred. So we got it for twelve hundred. Um, yeah, nice little unit. Um, back off the road, you can see the highway out there, but. It's quiet back here. A lot of rain last night. Um, so look at that tie wiring job right there. Don't touch that when it's wet, like right now. I don't want to get hung up on this resort, but I would recommend it. I really would. Um, very nice people, too. Uh, the I assume it's the owner, the lady that we interacted with just about every interaction we had, actually. Um, she actually brought the food down to us this morning. But, uh, like I said, Sumpit's going to get back here. We're going to jump in the truck. We're going to head home. We might stop at a nursery or something on the way home, but we have no plans. We will stop and get some ice for my cooler. But other than that, we are headed back to Paradise. Don't know how long we're going to be there, though, because I'm telling you right now, if I get bored, we're just going to pick up and go again. That's why I came here, right? We're just going to play it by ear. She might not want to go because, I mean, it took her a while to just kind of finally say, yeah, let's go this time. So, I don't know. I do miss my fish though, so let's get on the road. So this is how fast things change around here. I literally turned the camera off, drove 15 meters, she opened the door and said, let's go to the border market. <laughs> so we're not going west we're going to go east first it's it's only 13 minutes from here so we might as well go over there neither one of us has been to this market before so we're just going to go over there it might be a little early we don't know but we're going to go check it out we're here so change of plans that's a pretty quick trip that glow in the dark temple is only like two kilometers from here we didn't realize we were that close to the border for the record this is the border to laos not cambodia uh, we didn't know where to park a couple cars parked in the middle of the highway so we joined them we're not expecting much at this market because it is not even nine o'clock yet, so. And it's drizzling a little bit of rain, so this might be a short walk. This is a fresh market. I thought it would be a border market market. Or maybe it is down this way. I hope I hit the lock on my truck.
shrimp, octopus, raw meat, big cow nose. A small nose, man. This guy just, I'm gonna stop right here. He's parked right in the freaking highway. Look at that. Look at all the parking spots. He stopped right in the highway. She's in a hurry to go somewhere. Now this is more good than the mirrors up here, but I, yeah, I see they're not even set up yet. And when I get a chance, I'm going to step out here and show you how close we are to the border. Step right through here. That's literally the border checkpoint right there, that purple building. And again, that's Laos. I would bet half these people in this market are probably from over there. It goes, it doesn't go that far that way, does it? Mm -hmm. uh. Let's just sit out here with this stuff all night. So obviously they didn't put it away and pack it up. Oh, here's what they do right here. I don't know where you're going. Are you looking for anything or not? So we can't make it much further because we're almost to the border right now. Yeah, quite literally, there's the border to Laos. Customs. Get out of their way. It ends right there, right? Yeah, I stepped out there. The checkpoint's right there for the border. Maybe this is it. Um, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and grab my guys from the truck, get on the road and head out. Not much of a market. We will go back to the other market, border market, before too long because I want to get back down there. Oh, flowers. You're going to plant those? Is that your plan at home? Okay. Let me go get some ice. Another unexpected small detour. We're on the highway right here. Come, we're all the way around the other side of the lake from where the market and the temple and everything's at. We are at Parianoi. Uh, I'm sure there's not gonna be much open because it's only 9.30 in the morning. But we're gonna drive through here and see what it's really like here if we can. We saw a bunch of like covered docks or something, maybe piers out over the water. We can get take the here. next right then make a u-turn this gps is going to keep going off on us so sorry folks close it for a minute restaurants looks like look out there uh, just looks like restaurants and look at her look at her <laughs> Uh, is that all that's out there is restaurants? Is that all restaurants? Yeah. Look here, <laughs> they're all flagging us down. So this must be the tactic to get you. This is like the sidewalk in patio that's flagging you down. Looks like there might be some clothes for sale in that red building, maybe? I don't know. 
So we have no business here. We're just looking around. But it looks like the lake level is very high because they've extended the walkways into here to get to dry ground. Is that all it is? So it looks like there's more on down the lake there. It's just kind of a peninsula that sticks out here, but looks like there's more stuff down there, a couple of water slides and stuff. But I would imagine going down this road, you're going to get these guys waving you down all the way down here because that looks like the tactic here. But somebody told us that you could rent boats here, like a little pontoon boat type thing, and they would take you out on it, bring it, the driver takes you out so you don't have to mess around driving it yourself. Like I said, the water level is way high because I'm sure they don't intentionally leave their trailer bearings underwater like that every night. For those jet skis. Yeah, they're carrying this up out of here now. In fact, the level must have just come up lately because they're getting ready to pull this up out of here. They're just saying they're going to bring it over here. And you in the West thought the uh, bathroom doors in America were bad. Check these out. How about no door? But he was just saying this is just, it's all restaurants. There's water slides and stuff out there. So there's some stuff to do, but I don't see any like shops to go shopping. Notice the new shirt I got. I don't even remember where I got it. It's at, uh, oh, it's out in front of the big C, I think it was. Wherever that was, we went. I don't think we even told you about it, but gotta like that, eh? Some pit wanted to walk out and wanted to see what it was all about, but uh, as you can see, play areas for the kids, and a little swimming area. Looks like there's a platform hanging off the bottom of this. So as the lake, lake rises and falls, so does it. A little wire cable there to stab your kid in the eye. Another one over there. Um, looks like. There's a bunch of floaties and stuff back here. Blow up stuff you can rent. Probably some mats to lay down here. It looks like a little swimming area. Maybe some fountains that they get going when the afternoon gets kicking. Restaurants all over out here floating around. It's kind of a unique idea right here though. And they got the cage there to keep the alligators out. But yeah, that's kind of cool because as the lake level changes, so does the platform. I mean, it just goes with the dock or slides over there. But I guarantee there's a fee for everything you do out here. So as you can see, they serve food down through here. I think you can rent these here locations here for the day for your family or whatever. Um, but this, Padi Hanoi is about an hour and a half southeast of Ubon Ratchitani and about two and a half hours east of us. So they, he's just telling her that they pull these around behind jet skis. You can rent them, they'll take you out. What, what's something like that cost? How long? Well, that could take two minutes or two hours. <laughs> so you get to fall off 10 times and that's it. So bring your glue. 3,000 baht an hour to rent a jet ski. Okay. So I just noticed these chain hoists here. So I imagine if they need to do repairs or something, they can just use these chain hoists, lift it out of the water, do the repairs and drop it back in. So there you have it. Nothing like patio, although they call it, call it patio noy. There's something you don't see every day, a toilet with a boat motor on it. Wonder where that flushes to. All I can say is we made it back. Uh, we've been home a couple hours. Ironically, we made it through our 10 day tour 
had three nights overnight that it rained while we were sleeping. We had the one night in the market. I don't remember where we're at now. I don't know, we're up there north somewhere, but the one night in the market we got rained out. 15 minutes after we got home, little downpour. 20 minutes later, heavy downpour. And now about an hour later, that thunder and lightning out on the way. Made home just in time. Give us enough time to uh, get all our plants back in, get everything set up, ready to go. Good news is, my lilies are surviving. Got two leaves there and I got four more coming here. Somewhere, yeah, one, two, three, four. Fish all survived, but you notice all the floating plants are gone. There was like three brown globs of goo floating around in there when I got home, I threw them out. Um, this is not gonna be enough plants to keep this water clean, so I'm gonna have to find something in the next few days to get back in here. Our uh, indoor plants didn't survive real well out in the sun, but they're still alive, they'll recover. So unfortunately, our journey has come to an end. So it's back to the day-to-day -day videos for a while.